Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to learn how to shoot a dipping shot. So when you're striking a dipping shot, you need a lot of force behind that strike. So you need to generate all this power from your run up. So what helps me is when I've pushed that ball out is to take really long strides. This generates the momentum you need so that when you finally get to that ball, you've already created a lot of energy behind the strike. So nice wide strides. You're not trying to take small steps like stuttery steps. It's a nice smooth, long, like that. Also with the run up, you want to be slightly more straight on than you would be for a curling shot or a more traditional shot. So you're not quite straight on, but maybe one or two steps towards the left or the right if you're shooting with your left foot of the ball. And one final thing about the run-up, I know I'm sharing a lot of run-up tips here, but it's very important for a dipping shot, is that final step before you're about to plant that kicking foot, you're actually coming up onto the toes quite high. It's just adding even more power. You're generating even more energy so that you can really snap the ball. You really have to hit the ball aggressively in order to get top spin. If you don't, you're probably just going to get back spin or you're going to shank the ball. So you'll see on my final step, right as I'm about to plant my non-kicking foot, I come up onto my tiptoes like this and strike through the ball. So now let's talk about the planting foot. So as always, the planting foot needs to go towards our target, but we also need to make sure we're planting it just in front of the ball because we're rolling the ball forwards We've come onto that tiptoe, we're about to strike it, but when we plant our foot, the ball is still rolling forwards. So if we planted it beside the ball, by the time our legs come down to kick the ball, it's gonna to be too far out in front of us, we're probably just gonna get underneath it and be off balance. It's probably gonna go over the crossbar. So we need to plant our foot just in front of that ball, so by the time it's finished rolling and our legs come through to connect with the ball, it's gonna be right beside our ankle here. So now let's talk about the area of the foot we want to be striking the ball with and this is the little detail that differentiates between a knuckleball and a dipping shot. So for a knuckleball we're hitting really high up on the foot on this really hard bone but for a dipping shot it's a little bit lower. This is going to allow us to get more purchase on the ball so that we can spin the ball upwards. If we hit with that knuckleball area, that really dense bone, the ball is just going to come directly off the foot like a jab and it's going to have all different kinds of movement not a bad idea but we're looking for that top spin in this type of shot so really get used to using this area of the foot here so now let's talk about the area of the ball we want to be striking so we're looking for that dip effect we want it to drop so I want you to think of the ball this way whatever side of the ball you hit on it has an opposite effect so if you hit on the right hand side of the ball it goes to the left if you hit on the left hand side of the ball it goes to the right if you hit on the underside of the ball it's going to go up we're trying to make it drop, so we want to hit the top side of the ball. However, you don't want to go immediately on the top side of the ball because then it will just P-roll off the foot. It's not going to go up and then down. So the area of the ball you want to make initial contact with is right through the center. So right through the center of the ball, that's going to give the ball a little bit of lift, make it go up into the air and then dips. So the way to do this, you're going to strike the ball through the center and then immediately as the ball's leaving your foot, aggressively snap your foot upwards. And finally, the follow through. So this is massively important to get that effect on the ball that we want. So first thing we already talked about, we're snapping that foot upwards. That's gonna give it that top spin that we want. But also, after the ball's left our foot, we're trying to stop that follow through as quickly as possible. Very similar to a knuckleball. The only difference is with a knuckleball, you're striking through that ball and then stepping to the side with a dipping shot you're snapping the foot upwards and then stopping the follow through. And the final part is crouching that chest over the ball. So as you make contact with the ball, you really wanna overemphasize crouching over that ball, making sure that chest is over. If you don't and you're leaning back, the ball's just gonna sky over the bar. If you crouch over the ball, it's gonna give it more aggressive top spin. 
All right, guys, so those are all my tips for striking a dipping shot. But remember, you're not just going to get it from watching this tutorial alone. You need to get out there and practice and figure out your own technique that you're comfortable with. It's a very difficult technique that can take weeks, months, even up to a year to get it down consistently, but stick at it and stay patient with it. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.